We talk a lot about occurrence versus claims made coverage on this podcast, and rightly so. It's the number one question that we get from doctors, and it can take a while to really understand the differences. But today, we're going to dive into a specific nuance of this discussion, and that is, what is the difference between occurrence and prepaid tail? Let's unpack this topic together. Stay tuned. Welcome to Malpractice Insights, the show dedicated to helping healthcare professionals understand medical malpractice insurance and providing you with the solutions you need so that you can get back to the work of practicing good medicine. My name is Jennifer Wiggins, CEO of Aegis Malpractice Solutions, and I'm so glad you've joined us today. All right, let's jump in. There are two types of policies that you can buy for medical malpractice, claims made and occurrence. The difference between these policy types is how the coverage is triggered, and the way you can remember this is in the name of the policy itself. If you have an occurrence policy, your malpractice coverage is triggered based on when the incident actually occurred. If you have a claims made policy, your malpractice coverage is triggered based on when the claim is made against you. Occurrence coverage is the most flexible policy type available it's also a little more expensive. With this type of insurance, you only need to carry the policy while you're actively practicing, because as you'll remember, the coverage triggers based on when the incident occurred. So as long as you had an occurrence policy in place at the time that you treated the patient, then you'll have coverage for that event, even if a claim isn't filed for several years. When you're done working, you simply cancel the policy and walk away. There is no need for tail insurance with occurrence coverage. Now let's flip the script and look at the other type of insurance. Claims made insurance is triggered based on when the claim is made against you. So you must carry the insurance while you are actively practicing in case a claim is filed during that time. But once you cancel that policy, then you must secure tail insurance. Tail insurance covers a healthcare provider from their cancellation date into the future for any claims that may still be made against them for the patients that they treated during the years when they were covered under the claims made policy. So claims made policies are really two policies in one. You must carry the insurance while you're working, and then you must secure tail insurance after you cancel. We have a whole episode dedicated to unpacking the differences between occurrence and claims made coverage, and I'd highly recommend that you check that episode out if you haven't already. We'll drop a link for you here and also in the show notes, so you can check that out after you've finished today's episode. So the question today is, what is the difference between occurrence coverage and prepaid tail? Well, first, let's talk about what prepaid tail is. Prepaid tail is sometimes called an enhanced claims made policy or a modified claims made policy. With this type of insurance, the carrier charges you a little more premium and they build the cost of the tail into the rate. So you pay slightly more each year, but then at the end, you don't have to buy that expensive tail. It's already been paid for. It's a pretty nice option for providers who are worried about getting slammed with an expensive tail. You basically pay it off along the way, and then you are free and clear at the end. Prepaid tail policies are typically offered by malpractice insurance carriers who don't have occurrence coverage. It's their way of offering a similar product without having quite as much risk. And that's exactly what the difference is in these two types of coverage. The difference between an occurrence policy and prepaid tail is the total amount of insurance available to the policyholder. If you watched or listened to our full episode on occurrence versus claims made, you heard me give the analogy of the books and the rubber band as it relates to the total amount of coverage that a provider acquires along the way. So let's recap. Let's say you buy an occurrence policy. Each year that you renew your occurrence policy, you are stacking up books on a bookshelf. So this is your policy for 2023, 
2024, 2025, 2026, and so on. And each one of those policies has its own separate policy limit. Let's say you're carrying the standard 1 million, 3 million limit. In that case, you would have 1 million, 3 million for this year, 1 million, 3 million for the next year, and 1 million, 3 million for the next year and down the line. Then if you ever have a claim made against you, you'll simply access the book based on the incident occurrence date. So let's say you have a claim for a patient that you treated on July 1st, 2024. You'll simply take the 2024 book off the shelf, open it up, pay the claim, and then close the book and put it back on your bookshelf. What's unique about this policy type is that these limits remain independent of one another. So you'll still have your full 1 million, 3 million policy limits for any patients you treated in the year 2023, 2025, 2026, and so on. But if you had a payout for the claim in the year 2024, let's say it was a $200,000 loss, then the limits for that policy period would go down to $1 million, $2.8 million. You'll still have a $1 million per claim limit, but your aggregate has been reduced. So any paid claims or losses are only taken out of the policy year in which the incident occurred. An occurrence policy has very robust coverage. Those limits stack up year over year and you can access them down the road as needed. Even if down the road you end up switching carriers or if you move to a claims made policy, those occurrence policies will stay active and in force with the carrier that you purchased them from. Okay, now let's look at the other type of insurance, which is claims made. When you buy a claims made policy with prepaid tail, your limits work exactly the same way they do on a traditional policy. And to help you remember how this coverage works, think of a pegboard and a rubber band. So we're gonna drop our peg in the pegboard on the first day of coverage. And this is called your retroactive date or your inception date. We'll take our rubber band and wrap it around the peg and stretch it out for our first year of coverage. And let's say we get a 1 million, 3 million policy limit again. This means you have 1 million, 3 million worth of coverage for any patients that you've treated from January 1st, 2023 to January 1st, 2024, assuming that the claim is made against you in that time period. When you renew the policy again for a second year, now we're going to stretch the rubber band a little bit further. And so now we have 1 million, 3 million worth of coverage for any claims made against you from the retroactive date, which is January 1st, 2023 to January 1st, 2025, assuming the claim is made against you in that same period. This will continue every year that you renew, stretching your rubber band further and further until the time comes when you cancel the coverage. Once you get to your cancellation date, then we'll drop a final peg in the pegboard. And this is the time when you must secure some form of tail insurance in order to be covered going forward for any claims that may be made against you for the patients that you treated during those earlier years. If you don't get tail insurance, then you're not covered. So again, claims made coverage triggers based on when the claim is made against you. You must have insurance in place at the time that the claim is made in order for you to be covered. And the policy limits, instead of stacking year over year like they do on an occurrence policy, are stretched over the duration of the policy period. So you have one limit from your retroactive date to your cancellation date. And this is the key difference between occurrence coverage and prepaid tail. Occurrence gives you the stacked limits versus claims made with a prepaid tail that gives you one policy limit that stretches for the full policy term. And when it comes to price differences, the cost of an occurrence policy is only slightly higher than the cost of prepaid tail. Let's look at a few examples. If you're a dermatologist in Ohio, an occurrence policy would probably be around $7,500. A claims made policy would be 7,000. And an enhanced claims made policy or a policy with prepaid tail would probably be around 7,300. So not a huge difference in price. But obviously, if your rate is higher, then the difference in price will be more significant. So let's say you're an OBGYN in Florida. An occurrence policy would be around $77,000. 
a standard claims made policy would be $72,000. And an enhanced claims made policy would be around $75,000. The issue for you to focus on when comparing occurrence versus prepaid tail is value. Is it worth a little extra money to have more coverage? For some providers, it is. For other providers, the most important part of a prepaid tail is just the peace of mind, not having to worry about paying for an expensive tail at the end of their policy term. And for them, it's less about the total amount of coverage, it's about convenience. There isn't a right or wrong answer here, it's just a matter of being educated so that you can make the choice that's right for you. If you have any questions on this topic or you want to make sure that you're covered appropriately, click the link in the description box below where you can connect with us via phone, email, or chat today. And if you're listening, please visit us online at aegismalpractice.com. That's A-E-G-I-S malpractice.com. And of course, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to give us a like and a follow. And I'd really appreciate your feedback if you could please leave me a review. Your support really does help us to reach more people, and we're so grateful for your clicks and your kind words. This is Jennifer Wiggins. Thanks for joining us.